Yeah, well, Morley Wing was born at the end of the 19th century. I think it was 1896, and he was champion apprentice in England, 1915, and then the First World War was uh, raging, and he he came to Ireland. Then uh, he settled here and stayed here, and uh, had a tremendous record. You know, was seven Irish Derby winners. Eventually he, he trained here for a while in a uh, uh, yard just behind the race course here, Rosewell House, now the home of Dermot Well. So his, his, his footprint is on the current, uh, will be on it forever. He, he, uh, he named the place after one of his Irish Derby winners, Rosewell. Joe Canty and Morney Wing were, were sort of uh, contemporaries. Michael Dawson at that time was, had a very big stable in Rathbride. Joe Canty rode for him, served his apprenticeship and had a big career, champion apprentice a few years, uh, rode 17 Irish classics and uh, they used to say he rode three and a half Irish derby winners because in those days, uh, up to about the 60s or 70s, if you had a dead heat they called it half a winner. <laughs> so, <laughs> Joe didn't ride four Derby winners, he rode three and a half according to them then, but anyway, it's four. And he was uh, doing something that people, jockeys don't do today, he rode a lot over jumps, he rode four, four Galway Hurdle winners. Pat's record is there for all to see, he was an 11 times champion jockey in, in England and uh, he was champion jockey in Ireland of, of one of the years when he, when he rode for Vincent O'Brien. There's no doubt Pat had a magic touch, you know, he horses just ran for me, a lovely style. Uh, when he was at his peak at that time, he was uh, just a lovely rider, tremendous instincts, uh, rode nearly, uh, what was it, nearly 4,000 winners. Yeah, he was such a nice fellow too, you know, and sadly died before his time.